Linux configuration files can be horrific. Uh, there's no standard, there's no standard location for them, no folder that they're all in or anything like that. You know, you can arrange them that way sometimes if you really tinker with things, but uh, for the most part, that it can be a pain in the butt. So I wanted to show you guys this website that I found uh, that actually is a really great guide. Uh, this is actually on the website fandom. Oops. This is on the website fandom.com. Uh, and they have a how to wiki. Uh, and the, the guide is Guide to Linux Configuration Files. If you just search Google or whatever, uh, Guide to Linux Configuration Files, it should be the top result for you. Um, so this guide is phenomenal, though. It's really long, which shows you how complicated configuration files are. But. Um, it shows, you know, it explains how they work, first of all, like global versus local config files. And then it gets into, uh, you know, the basics, ones that you're probably going to edit at some point in your uh, career as a Linux user. Uh, X11, Bash, um, Cron, uh, Fonts. Uh, there's just a lot of them. Um, so, but anyway, when you scroll through all those, uh, users and groups. One that uh, I, I see a lot of people on, uh, a lot of people kind of look for or ask about is the uh, the window manager or, you know, come across, I guess it's commonly used is the window manager config files. And this site even has uh, some details on that. So let me just search window manager. It's pretty far down here. Managers. There we go. Uh, so, uh, if you scroll down to the window manager section, they, they actually have a separate guide for window managers that's linked there. And um, um, let's see. They have yeah. So if you, they should, they have like GNOME, XFCE, they have i3. A lot of common ones there. Uh, that you can uh, just look at this guide, you know, have it bookmarked, um, and it'll, you know, show you where where you go for your config files. Another common one, one that I really like is DWM. Um, that one, so, and this is a good example, if it's not on that guide, uh, what you want to do is go to the website or the documentation for the product that you're using, and uh, there should look for, like, customization. Typically, that's what you're going to find. Uh, another one is Regolith. Linux, um, theirs, I don't think is listed here either. Let's see. Regolith. Yeah, Regolith is pretty new. Um, and it, it sits on top of GNOME, actually, so it's pretty heavy. But, uh, you know, different stuff for different folk, right? So, uh, but, yeah, if you go to their documentation, it's very similar to, like, DWM, where you get to the documentation, then you go to the customization section uh, in Regolith. Same thing, you go to the customize section and uh, they should give you some details here. Oops, yeah, like compositors, it tells you how to find the compositor and then um, it should show where there's some config files here. I thought it did. Basically, oh, yeah, there we go, max resources. So it gives you some ideas there, um, but uh, yeah, you want to look for customization or just go to this. If it's not listed there, then do a Google like DWM customization or something like that. Um, so anyway, just wanted to share that site. I thought, I think this is just a phenomenal little wiki here with all these config files. So uh, just wanted to put it out there, spread the news. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching.